Um, you should probably be good, I think. Uh, let's see, I'm up to two target readers, so we need to get everything. Uh, let's see, one of you, one of you, and one of you, right? Okay, I'm gonna take action, gonna pay one, or to pay. Gonna take action, gonna pay one, or to pay. Gonna take action, gonna pay one, or to pay. And we're gonna take action, and we're gonna pay, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, or five, six, so we're gonna pay, yeah. Six, or to pay. Because now that guy is pretty big. He's pretty big, actually. Tokens, 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 tokens. That's a summary of this deck. You don't have to watch the entire <laughs> explanation there, because this might just confuse you even more. But okay, so here's the idea behind the deck. I wanted to create a deck around this card, because I think it's secretly super, super powerful, and it's Yugan Defense the Temple. New card, of course, from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. First part, it creates a human monk creature token with add a green man. Second part is add a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. And third part, it returns as a remnant of the Rising Star, which has a really interesting ability. Whenever another creature enters the battle under your control, you can pay X. And when you do, put X plus one, plus one counters on that creature. As long as you control five or more modified creatures, the remnant on Rising Star gets plus five, plus five, and has trample. It seems like this would never happen. How, like, how often are you gonna have five modified creatures on the battlefield? But as it so happens, with the use of two other cards, it's actually very simple to get that going. So, for instance, Battle of Bretagard can easily make this happen. You create a 1-1 one, one white human warrior, first part, second is a elf warrior, and third part, you choose any number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens with different names. For each of them, create a token that's a copy of it. So, if you play this first, then you play this, then you copy all your tokens, then you use this ability that is innate on Remnant of the Rising Star, and you put all these plus counters on, on the turn when it attacks in, it's going to get plus 5, plus 5 and have Trample. Which is super strong and super good, and also gonna get a silly amount of tokens, because of course the rest of the deck is just creating tokens, essentially. So we have tokens from Wedding Announcement, creates 3 in total. Essica's Chariot, probably about 4 tokens if you get to attack in with the Essica's Chariot. Teaching on the Kirin is two tokens. Rainy Class is only one token, but it's pretty, it's pretty good card, so we have it there anyways. And Prosperous Incubate, yes, it creates a treasure token, and that treasure token, of course, can be multiplied by, by the Battle for Bretagard. I think that's maybe thinking a little bit too much about things. But the other card we have, if you don't have Battle for Bretagard, is of course Blessing of Frost. Since we have so many things which just creates tokens, another way of activating Remnant of the Rising Star is just play Blessing of Frost. Because this is going to add a plus counter onto some things, so we just need to add four things onto other things, which we can do with Blessing of Frost. This with X plus one plus one counters among any number of permanents, uh, any number of creatures you control, where X is the amount of snow spent to cast the spell. Then draw a card for each creature you control with power four or greater, so if you put a, pl a counter on everything you have in your army, that's going to make it so that Remnant of the Rising Star is going to get plus 5, plus 5 in Trample, and probably you're going to draw a lot of cards from this, which is amazing. Uh, then we have Renan 7, because I thought it would be amazing, both with Essica's Chariot, because that copies, but also Battle for Bretagon copies, or doubles the tokens, so. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Let's jump into the games. I actually never played Battle for Bretagon, I just realized. We played a lot of decks, we played a lot of jack, but we've never ever played Battle for Bretagon, isn't that weird? I would never come upon that card, okay? Goblin Javeliner. Oh no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Do it, do it. Uh, let's see. Deal damage to the thing which attack. Hmm. Do it, do it, Prosperous Innkeeper now. He's probably just gonna kill it. No, we play Ranger class. So we have a good blocker. And then we'll see what it does. Probably just plays more goblins. Usually the goblins just play more goblins. Usually. Maybe not today. Hobgoblin. Hack tactics. Gonna suicide? He suicides. Oh well, suicide. Depends on how you think about things, I guess, okay? Kill us the wolf, and this guy gets first strike if uh, things have total power 6 or greater, sure. Uh, well, in that case, Prosperous Inchnapes down on the ground, along with Teachings of the Kirin. Again, Kirin, it means giraffe, but also it says like an old spirit animal from ancient China or something. This, someone pointed this out on the Jason Delta. It doesn't have to be giraffe, okay? One damage on up to one target creature, 
target player or planeswalker. Oh! It can't deal the creatures, okay. So, uh, just, okay, one damage to me, that is fine. He gets a red mana, though. That might be the Prosperous Inkeep. And uh, it's a Molded Surge, yep, Inkeep has to go. I'm gonna smack him with this now? Oh, really? Is suicide? You main main? You suicide? Okay. Alright, well in that case then. Another teaching of the Kirin. Yet another dude. It's all gonna flip very, very soon. And we could plus here, but I prefer to play random 7 next turn. So I don't think we just, I don't think we just do this. Random 7, pretty good. Pretty good card. Okay, what does... Minus 7, excellent top 5 cards. You may cast red spells from among them this turn. You get an emblem with whenever you cast a red spell. This emblem deals X damage on the target or X is the amount of damage. Okay, cool. Plus counters on there. Get the teachings of the Kirin. And actually we drew a lander, so we could have just... Plus this, but we did not. Yeah, but that's fine. Put down the random seven. Oh, got a little bit of Green Folk do there. It's decently big. And we're smacking for this girl. And we see if it blocks. Fireblade Charger, though. We could block with the Fireblade Charger. Does get a one for one trade there. We could also go for the Kirin there. And it does go for the Kirin, okay. I mean, I like just thinning out their troops, honestly, if they play goblins, right? I think that's the correct way of playing. Could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm never wrong about things like this. Things like this. Now we didn't get the battle for Bretagar, though. Imagine these things doubling. I would have been really sweet, darling. I would have been so freaking sweet. I would block there. Block there, does he have a, a burn spell now for a 5-2? Possibility. Board wipe, maybe. Okay. Okay, calm is fire. Oh, that thing's gone. Very much gone now. Very much gone. But, Chandra though, dressed to kill. Good exile top card if it's red. He can cast it. Needs to go, go for something. Yep, that's a mountain, but he can play it for some reason. Okay. They should not the Karen. There's just more, more dudes. More dudes coming down there. I think you have to reveal the top four cards and put all lands in hand. Okay. Uh, noise. And Jugan defends the temple. We got a little bit of a monkey dude. M not monkey. <laughs> a monk like dude. A monk A. <laughs> see, see what I did there? See what I did there? Okay. Spicy. Okay. Kirin touched Uruchi. Gotta go smacking in there, he's still stuck on three manas though. Three mountains. It's not super great for him actually. A little bit poopers. He needs to go for random seven there. This damage. Up oh, Goblin Bandit Lord though. Yep. Going down on the ground. But he didn't deal with anything. Okay, counters on up to two targets. I think we want a count. I think we want both counters on this guy, right? Yeah. No, no, on each. Oh, oh my God, my things. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, everybody. Because it didn't. I mean, it did matter in all fairness. But I think we can go in with this and this now. And the Kirin touched. Let's see. Exile a non-creature card. Put a plus counter. Yes. And that's gonna be the Kamis player here. And then we're gonna put a plus counter on. Uh, I'm gonna put it on you also. That's fine. Badoosh, Badoosh, and Badoosh. It's not a 4 4. That's pretty nice. And that should give us exactly enough counters to draw four cards with this, right? When I was having a good time. That's here. One there. Three there. Noise, noise, I'm liking this, I'm liking this very much. Do we go Prosperous Inkeep now? I think we just level up this thing. Good point. Noise! That was amazing, 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 amazing. Gotta say, gotta say. Ah, gotta get the Breath of Guard though. The Breath of Guard! Okay, exile the Saga. Oh my god, we're blessing on Frost on top. And we can draw it with this, but we can't activate it, unfortunately, but... Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll play this. Play it. I don't think he has any board wipes, so we can probably play this safely also. Oh, badoosh, oh, badoosh. We're gonna take action. And we're gonna... 
X equals one, right? Buff it up by one. Oh, we can also do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can actually do this also, but uh, cool. We could actually now pay three here, which should now buff the remnant. So now he's a seven seven. Oh my god! Look at this. Pretty nice. Uh, yeah, put a plus counter or something. Take away the genre. And a plus counter on, let's see here. Nothing is gonna die anyway. So can put a plus counter on you. And we can put a plus counter on you. I should probably put in these guys, but who cares. It's going pretty well. Uh, sure. One of the hobo goblins. Now the seven. I would draw the blessing of frost. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Do we need it at this point? Probably not. But it was, you know, it's nice to have. No, nice. It's nice and we, and we got him. No battle for Bretagard, but he did pretty good out. We kind of want it late though. We kind of want it when we have like 18 to- Oh my god, what is this? Quick creature gets plus one plus one. Whenever, uh, okay, got blocked. This is well damaged a defending player. Interesting. He's got a little bit of a trick up his sleeve archer, I think. Do we lead off with the... I actually think we lead off... Oh my god, Menace? Reconfigure for four? Hmm. We could go Prosperous. I think in this case go Prosperous in game. Because even if he kills this, he can go Essica's Chariot next time. And that's that was kind of good. Playing Essica's Chariot turn three is good. It is good. Okay. Reconfigure though. On top of this? Oh my lord. Oh my lord, we can't even block it! Getting all of that damage, huh? All of the damage. Well, 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 well. That's actually kind of dangerous. Blade of the Oni. Blade of the oni -san. No. No, 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 no. Um, oh, we smack him with this, right? But douche. Dealing damage. And I think turn. Okay. Mana, so we could double block here if we want to. We get rid of it. This gonna come back though. It's one damage to defending player. Hmm. I think I have a burn spell though. That could uh that could blow us out. I think we just take it at this point and we just try to raise him. Just take it. Take it, raise him, gonna be good. Yeah, this switch copies, tokens, you just gonna get so many tokens, you can't do anything about it. I think that's the way. Uh, let's see, we can get a Ulba Spirit. We're also healing pretty good with all these things coming in. Huh? This seems of the cure. We had a little, uh, a little bit of Spirit there. Okay. And gaining a life point. Is that okay, sir? No, no, that is okay. Do we also play the Ranger class or do we play another Teaching of the cure? I think we play this. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's time for the Ranger class. It's time, okay? Man, Battle for Breath of God. Like, look at all these different types of things. Oh, would have been so nice. Would have been so nice. Oh, well. Essica's Chariot, though. Coming in for the Smackaroons. Got be a lot of Smackaroons here. On the battlefield. Oh, no. No, it's not. No, it's not. Infernal Grasp. Okay. And, uh, well, we got a little bit of damage, though. It's down to 13. We're actually higher in life total. Much thanks to the Prosperous Inchneeps here. Keeping us healthy and happy. Okay, it's back in. Down to 11. Cricks are gonna deploy. Oh, 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 oh. You put a plus counter on target creature. Let's see. Let's put that on the cat. Put it on the cat. So that we have as many things as possible that can uh, trigger this blessing of the frost there. Okay. Probably has a removal spell though, okay? That thing goes, he says. Wow. Not liking that. Well, I think this is as good a time as any has to do this, so we'll do it. One, two, one, two. It's just two cards. It's not the best Blessing of Frost ever, but it, you know, it's a fine Blessing of Frost. Okay. Down to one. Could we somehow push in one more damage? No, I don't think so. Kind of needs a board wipe or something. Oh, gold span dragon. I mean, that's damage. Let's have the buff for it. This is uh, 5 plus 4 damage here. Coming in. It kind of needs to be on the blocks here. Oh, 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 oh. It's good. 
But there is no map for Metacorn. <laughs> Chris the complainer. I know. I know, it is really good of the combo! I mean, imagine Battle for Bretagorn, the Blessing of Frost, the draw deck! Oh! Oh, it's so nice, okay. Shambling Gas, that is Le Foin. Um, This he can kill the, the token with. This he probably cannot if it don't block, so. This feels safer. It's a lot safer, okay. Asbro though, 95. It's gonna eat up his own shambling gas, maybe. Ramp up with five manas, and then play. What do you play after that? Goldspan Dragon, man. What's the best five drop right now? Is it Goldspan Dragon? Likely? Depends on the deck though. Personal preference would be Dollhouse of Horrors. Dollhouse of Horrors, best five drop, but people might not agree with me. Okay. Asbro though. 95. Staying back with the Shambling Guest. I say. I say. I kind of just want a token out of this. I think we don't attack. Uh, put an invitation counter. You always put an invitation counter on it. And if you attacked, you draw a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I knew that. I knew that. Okay. Let's start to check. I just had to stick. That was the case. Or do we smack in? Sure, he blocks this, kills the wolf, but I mean, that's fine. If you attack with at least two or more creatures, you draw a card. Otherwise, you create a 1-1. I, uh, do we want the card? I mean, we probably want the card, right? I would just smack it. Yes, oh no, it's two or more cards. My, my god, two or more creatures, but it doesn't block, only blocks, okay. Yeah, that, that was a dangerous play. That was a dangerous play, Chris, that was a dangerous play. <laughs> it's too much text on this thing, come on! If this happens and then do this and then go right and then on the left side there's a thing and the thing with the thing like oh my god <laughs> why do they have to make it so complicated just you put a counter on it it creates a one one if you attack with two creatures this turn you draw a card that's what it should say that's not what it says but that's what it should say um yeah I mean uh, as you share it down the ground. Raining some dudes, representing, and uh, smacking, but douche. And then we get another dude, and then, next turn, attack with two things, we flip that thing. It's gonna be pretty good. Then maybe Blessing of Frost. <laughs> Would be pretty nice, you're saying, you're saying. Four manas though. What could that ever be? A removal spell, most likely. Killing our Essica's Chariot. All likelihood. We'll find out. On the other hand, though, can we hold off on... Oh my god, no! Why? Why is it always the board wipes? They're always the board wipes, okay? But it's a good card, though. It is a good card. Um, yeah, I guess we do this. Okay, do there. Would've been nice with a the land there, wouldn't it? Would've been nice. Didn't find it, okay? And yeah, flips. Does he have the second Meatuck Massacre? That is the question. That is very much a question. Because if he does, that's very, very good for him. But if he does not, I think his Blessing of Frost is gone, be good, it's gone, be good. We'll see, though. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Edgar. Oh, that's good. That's good for us. Let's do anything for him. Perfect. My turn. My turn. Let's see, put a plus card on you, and put a plus card on you there. Badoosh, badoosh. Let's see, if a blessing of frost. Let's see, this cruise for four. You might think that I'm a dengas. Because I put the counters like I did. Because if I just put two on one, that would have been easier. But now we have more modified... No, that doesn't matter. Uh, okay, it was just a dengas play, I admit. <laughs> Actually didn't do anything for us. Uh, so we're only gonna smack him with the Essica's Chariot, actually. And then we're gonna create a token that's a copy of... Uh, let's see here. The spirits are also 1-1, one, one, so it doesn't matter, okay? We'll create a human. And he probably blocks with Edgar. To flip it. Most likely. 
But that's perfect, because then we just go for the blessing of frost and it's gonna be good, and it's gonna be good, and it's gonna be good. I think. I think that was gonna happen. Find out though. Edgar gets in front with the blocks. Blessing of frost. Bro, did he just time out? It's fine. Because that's actually the perfect opportunity to go to the Jason Dennis route. Okay. Lethal double strike. Nope. <laughs> Build my client crashed again. I'm busy grinding the barons. <laughs> Bill Gates. I mean, that's, that's a good reason. Good reason. Okay. He's gonna get a life point from that. Oh, no, no. We lose life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just confused about everything in life. And I'm gonna do this. We're gonna pay her. Gonna put a counter on you, counter on you, and two counters on you. And that's gonna draw us four cards. And that felt pretty good, actually. That felt pretty good. And he's gonna get a Doers. Do we have another Blessing of Frost there? Shaming Blessings of Frost could be the way to go here. He might have another Me Took a Massacre, though. No? Cosmos Elixir, okay. Regaining what was lost, he thinks. <laughs> no, 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 that's not gonna happen. We're gonna put a stop to that, sure. Okay, Exalasaurus. We'll do this. Oh. And then, you say, then we crew. Then we crew are you. And then, can we now play everything we wanna play? Everything we want to do. Can we play this? Let's see. One, two. We're gonna draw like our deck if we play this. I love it. <laughs> we gonna do it. We gonna do it. Yep. Couple of cards there. Not too bad. I think we just play the Ranger class or do we... S we plus counters don't do too much. Oh, well, maybe they do. Nah, nah, put this down. <laughs> I didn't want more dudes now. I didn't want more dudes. Okay, smack him with everything. Right now the wolf. Man, can we just get the battle for Bretta Guard? Come on! Look at all these things. And there's no battle for Bretta Guard at the top. Ah, uh, my, my. Well, dealing a little bit of damage though. And we have a new hand for when he eventually board wipes, I think. Down to 11, he's gonna have to spend a lot of, uh, lot of resources to clear this up, I think. He's good. Yeah, he's gonna get the treasure. Yeah, yeah he's just board wiping next time. I knew it, I knew it. Okay, well, end of turn. And discard two lines. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe like this. Oh, wait, you sh this should have definitely not. Oh, well. Oh, well, great a dude. Ma me took massacre number dos. We gain him all life back if he does that. Probably has it. Me took Massacre. Seems like a little bit of a defensive strategy there. Edgar, me took Cosmos Elixir. Uh, we, we do have uh, we do have some business though. It's gonna come in there. We pretty much needs to have it this time. Oh, it doesn't have it though. Oh yes. Okay, I has it. Sure. Everything goes. Ah, both Blood Bonus now and Meetup Massacre. This might be difficult to win. <laughs> might be insanely difficult to win. We'll see though, okay. There's still a chance, you know. There's still a chance. Uh, let's see, do we do Yugan Defense the Temple and the Wedding Announcement, maybe? Because uh, that's pretty decent, I think. Uh, put this down. Wedding Announcement number does. Crew here, going for the smack of runes, create another human monk, get another life point, and he needs a block with the shambling ghast. Okay. Shambling ghast, creates another treasure. Hopefully it doesn't have yet another board wipe. Because he might just be playing a wipe 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 deck. It's kind of what it feels like that he's playing right now. Which is not what we wanted to queue into. Not at all. But maybe, with all the cards, I think we're gonna draw too many cards though, maybe. Uh, okay, Edgar is back. 
back on track. And then he smacks in with both his dudes. No, vanishing burst. Okay. That's okay. You know what? That's okay, sure. That's okay. He's gonna smack him with his Edgar. No. Stay on the blocks with his Edgar because we have a lot of dudes coming in there. Maybe. We'll see. There's gonna be a Juke on defense the Templar. Huh? I twitch also. All your sacrificial lamps for this Aspro dictator. Just throwing in, throwing in his troops. Okay. That'll dispute I twitch though. No? No, 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 treasure. Needs needs the blockers. Okay, and run another card from this. Ooh, Blessing of Frost though. Each of up to two targets, okay? You two. Uh, get this. And then... We do this. Right? Yeah. Do this and this, and... This guy. Right, the draw. The Mac- Oh, Battle for Bretagard! Is it happening, finally? Kinda seems like it, okay? Battle for Bretagard. A dude. We can actually now... Maybe we don't attack and play another Jugan? He's just gonna flip the Edgar if I kill the Edgar. We could go in for more damage later. Hmm... I think the way we kill him is actually with Yugans and not with the, our troops on the ground there. Because those things have flying, right? Smack in with only this guy, I think. If we smack him with two, we draw a card, though. But then we lose our Prosperous Innkeeper, which is kind of a good card. Ah, maybe drawing a card is good. Maybe drawing a card is good. Oh well. Block there. Sure. And block there. Ah. Attacks didn't really achieve much. It flipped this Edgar, though. Can be kind of useful, maybe. We'll see. Have a lot of freaking sagas here on the right. Lord of them. Lord, but uh, I mean, he's not gonna run out of board wipes. I think. I think we're gonna run out of cards before he runs out of board wipes. Okay, Mascot exhibition. That's a good one. No, I think this is almost impossible for us to win a wipe, wipe, wipe deck. It's gonna be. He might not have that many. Maybe just plays like one Mythic Mask, one Bloodless, and just happen to draw them. Maybe. Otherwise, I think this board is gonna go. Okay, yes. It just has a lot of more lives. I mean, that, that's a good way of winning, also. In all fairness, that's probably what he should be doing. It's the easiest way of playing Maddie, just play all the board wipes. <laughs> just add shit. Okay. It resolved in the wrong order there, but sure, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, I say. Okay, put down this, put down this. Wait, another monk. I'm gonna take that action, I'm gonna pay. Two, and Badoosh. And let's see here. We can't really do that much else, so we'll do this. And we cannot pay X. We're gonna decline this, and we're gonna decline this. And we have a little bit of an army, but it probably has yet another board wipe, so... Probably... Probably kind of dead there. Be my guess. Okay, I twitch. I'll say though, I'll say, we have the battle for Bretagard, it is gonna be something. It's actually not gonna be, oh wait, can we? Let's see here, we're gonna get, no we don't get any tokens from this. So, mm, um, I'll say, I'll say this might turn out great, anyways. Okay, Lord of Jugans, don't kill our battle for Bretagard, please, this once. Don't kill it. Unfortunately, it's not that effective against them, the Battle for Breath of Earth. That gives him more... Okay, that thing was interesting. Just wanted to be a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. I mean, this is probably what you should be playing. If you think it's like, like, what should I play to rank up? I mean, I don't think you need the Shambling Guest. And, you, like, personally, I don't know if the Shambling Guest I Twitch is the way to go. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Uh, but I think just play removal... Play some way of drawing cards like this, and you should probably be good, I think. Uh, let's see, I'm up to two target readers, so we need to get everything. 
Uh, let's see, one of you, one of you, and one of you, right? Okay, I'm gonna take action, gonna pay one, or to pay. Gonna take action, gonna pay one, or to pay. Gonna take action, gonna pay one, or to pay. And we're gonna take action, and we're gonna pay, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, or five, six, so we're gonna pay, yeah. Six, or to pay. Because now that guy is pretty big. He's pretty big, actually. And now we can put a plus counter on also. And now we can go in for a little bit of damage. Ah, all on the Jugans now. He probably has another board wipe. Surely has another board wipe, okay. This does have trample, though. He's down to 16. I think we've lost it, though. I think he just got a board wipe, but... Let's see. Let's see. There's a chance. There is the chance, at least. There's a chance that we maybe have something we can do in this game. We'll see. I'll stay, we'll stay. But yeah, I mean, there's good stuff. He's just playing good cards, exile cards, and board wipes. Oh my god, can we draw our deck now? <laughs> if it doesn't have the board wipe. If it doesn't have the board wipe, I think we can draw our deck, but he surely has the board wipe. Eh? Are the odds of him not having the board wipe? What are the odds? What are possibly the odds? Okay, actually, no, it can't afford it now. That's a good reduce the memory. And uh, we're gonna decline that. Unfortunately. We still have one Jugan, though. One Jugan on the ground. But he's probably gonna go with it. <laughs> Jugan, defense the temple, don't die! Don't die, okay. Good. That doesn't do much. Okay, can we buff this guy up to 16? Let's see, we can put two counters on with these things. Okay, exile this saga. Or do we go for that thing instead? Uh, we could buff it up by 7, 8, 9, 10. But let's see, we can buff here. We can buff here. Uh, so that, that's 10. And then we add 4, 16 with the Blessing of Frost. We probably want to play the Blessing of Frost anyway, so I think we're just gonna take action and we're gonna do one on this. Okay. And then we're gonna go... Let's see here. Blessing of Frost. Auto pay. Let's see here. One counter here. One counter here. Um, let's see here. And then two counters on the flyer, probably. Okay. Couple of... Couple of cards there, nice. Can level this up. And... He scoops! Yeah! Everybody, so much for watching, and a special thank you, of course, to the latest members I've joined, which are... Jason A. Faini, Kingsley, Awoken Broom, Lucas Simmer, Volbonte, Davy Jones 44, and also welcome back, Juan... Basais and Kyle Highsmith. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all the views. No, the. Those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, Senor. You see, you have subs at zero percent. And non-subs, uh, 100%. That's why he can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.